so this is question three, which is, again is ethical, legal, environmental issues. What you need to do is make that decision under the exam pressure of how you're going to approach it. So I might say, looking at this question, right, cloud storage, what are the two massive concepts that surround the, the use of the cloud? What, well, what is the purpose of the cloud, generally? Uh, yeah. Um, to store data. To store, yeah, to store data. So straight away, my mind went, okay, there are legal precautions with data, all right? Exactly, the Data Protection Act. So one of my points I'm going to say here is, uh, you'll notice what I've done is I've done an introduction, so you make sure you've got some introduction to kind of get your logical reason into your answer. The cloud is being used more and more by businesses and is a great way to back up masses of data quickly so that you can access it anyway. So I've kind of shown the examiner I understand what the cloud is, but then I'm going to go, go uh, uh, one of the legal, af one of the legal aspects to consider is how the company meets the Data Protection Act. Straight away there, once you've talked about the Data Protection Act, you've got points to go ahead. You can say, the Data Protection Act, data or I'm going to say you can put DPA and then do an acronym after to speed it up. But the Data Protection Act means that companies need to store your data securely and may need to use the, and this may need more encryption and firewalls. Get some technical knowledge in there to show the examiner that you understand what you've got to do to keep that safe, all right? Uh, the other thing you could talk about is that uh, what happens if the data is stored in another country? You have different laws. Just because we've got the Data Protection Act in the UK doesn't mean that they've got the same act in another country. So you can link to other, country, other countries and their laws. All right. You could also talk about um, whether government have access to it. So you could talk about government access. So you've got governmental access there, right? Now, I'm going to finish these points really quickly. I'm not going to, because obviously I don't want to run out of time. But when you're talking about environmental, is there anything in here, all right, which is a logical link into environmental that I've just written? Yep. Um, cloud storage requires the most, like, data bank of stuff, so all the materials that it's making with data bank. Say that again. Mater oh, you're saying materials. Yeah, materials, so you could have talked about the materials to build the hardware. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. Yeah? So, so but don't just stop at hardware. Say such as a switch or hub or NIC, that sort of thing. And then you can talk about digital Landfill, all right. So you could have talked about that. Uh, yeah. Um, this has nothing to do with the legal aspect. However, I was wondering if could you talk about how computers don't need as much hardware anymore in storage, since it needs cloud now to store the data. Well, that's a positive impact. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say that it has to be uh, a, a negative. You can say um, as an environment. So you can talk about positive. Is that? Yeah, it does say issue. I'll go back over that. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, yep. Yeah, but then you could say bad unless it was like powered by 
Yeah. By renewable. Obviously, I'm writing this very quickly here. Yep. Uh, you could talk about the use of water. Um, I wouldn't really go there with that, if I was honest. Uh, so you, we've got uh, data centers and cloud data consume a lot of electricity. Uh, data centers have less environmental impact. Um, we could have actually talked about the manufacturing of the devices. So I'm not talking about the actual physical cost of the hardware here. I'm talking about the manufacturing of hubs, switches. That's the, the technical stuff that is needed to create those farms. There is manufacturing that goes into them still. So generally, when there's an environmental issue, you can always count on materials, electricity, and manufacturing for every environmental point, really. Um, Legal points, you can always find some loose link to the government, but generally you can always find a loose link to the Data Protection Act. In terms of legal issues, um, you could talk about uh, the Computer Misuse Act being... Because the, the Computer Misuse Act is only guidance. Well, no, it's a law, but in, in some people, it's a, just a moral issue. They're still going to break it, just because the computer... Misuse Act is there that tells people they shouldn't do stuff doesn't mean that if my data is stored on a cloud somebody's going to try and hack it so you can talk about a legal aspect there of somebody still trying to hack it all right but hopefully that gives you a, a better structure so you've got your two main areas four key points have an introduction count that as your two times four plus your intro that's going to be your nine marks so hopefully that kind of helps with the structure of any questions you have around ethical, legal, or environmental issues. Yes? Um, do you want to integrate like, the two areas throughout, or do you want to just kind of do on a legal and... I think that's what's going to push it up to the nine, because they said respond covers at least two areas of legal, ethical, environmental issues. Overall, it says at least four individual points. Yeah? So that's what's getting you into the level three, at least four points considered and they're well developed so how are you going to well develop your answer really by crisscrossing some of them will have links as long as you make sure you've got enough in each area does that help yeah, yeah? okay i will finish that one